Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about the inverse CDF function and just to say what that is, let's start with looking at a normal distribution. So hopefully you know in Desmos you can do the normal distribution by just typing in normal dist or you can go to the keyboard, go to the functions and you look for distribution. So let me just quickly go back and say remember in the normal distribution if you want to find the cumulative you click on the link. It comes up by default negative infinity to infinity and then you can pick what you want it to go to. Like say we want it go from negative 1 to 1 because we know that should be about 68%. So what we want to do today is go backwards and say well what if we wanted to know what z-score gives us 95 percentile. So what if 95 percent of the values are less than this number. So to do that again we're going to type normal just or you're going to go to the functions and pick it. But then afterwards, you're going to put a period and you're going to put inverse CDF. So remember, it says the normal distribution, find the cumulative probability CDF. Now we're going to do the backwards, the inverse of that distribution. So what I have to do, again, I'm going to put in some parentheses and I have to tell it what percent I want. So let's try something like the 90th percentile. So I'm going to put 0.90. And it's going to give me a number, so you saw it has 1.28. So I'm going to go and show you how that works. I'm going to take away anything from the minimum. I'm going to stop it at the 1.28155156554. And then you can see it's giving me the same thing. So this 0.899999, that's 90%. So this tells me this is the z-score that would correspond to 90% being to the left. If I want to change that, maybe I want to do 80% or let's do 85%, then it's going to give me a different number. So again, I'm going to change that up there on my maximum and I'm going to put 0364-333-8949. That's giving me the 85th percentile. So 85% of the data will be to the left of the 1.036. Now, it's always going to give me to the left. If you want to do the right, then you're going to just have to subtract. So if you wanted to know what is the z-score for the top 1%, then you're going to put down here 0.99. And, and I keep showing you like to do both 2.326304. 7874.04. So you can see it's way down here. I have only 1% more than this number. So if I want the right, I'm going to have to do subtraction. This was for the standard normal distribution. So we had a mean of zero, a standard deviation of one. If you want it for something else, say we had a normal distribution with a mean of 45 and then maybe the standard deviation of five, then we're just going to put that into the parentheses on the normal distribution. And to show you how that works, I will also put it on here so you can check it. So 45 and 5. I'm going to hit the zoom so you can see that come back in. Um, and then I need to put that number here. So it's going to change the number that I have. So here's a 5, 6 point. I'm just going to do 6, 3 this time to show you. I could put the rest in. It would be more accurate. So. You do the same thing that you did before if you're trying to go from standard normal to normal. You just tell it the mean and the standard deviation within the parentheses. The part where I'm putting it in the first line to, to show you is just a vis visualization so you can see that it is working. Um, let's try one more. Let's say we had a normal distribution with a mean of 300 and maybe a standard deviation of 28. And we wanted to know the 80th percentile. So I would put in 0.80. And it says it would be 323.56. So let's go up here and just duplicate that. Here's 300 with a standard deviation of 28. And then that says the number that we should check is 323.565. And I will hit the zoom so you can see that in action. So what does this say? It says Say we had something, maybe it was an animal that weighed 300 pounds on average and the standard deviation was 28. Then that says we would expect 80% of that animal to weigh less than 323.565 pounds. And that's what we can look at here. It's a really quick way to do this. It's very helpful. Easier than going to charts is just being able to plug in the mean, plug in the standard deviation, put the percentile that you want and then it would tell you the answer. If you wanted to know how much the top 5% weighed, 
let's say we put in 95, this is 346. So this tells me that this animal that I just made up, the top 5% of this animal would weigh over 346 pounds. So it's a really quick way to do that inverse CDF. I know the average I want, and then it tells me what the value would be.